Hello ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, cause the child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news from update, where today we're going to be talking about Shanghai Disneyland, because there's been some posts and some fueling speculation of a high speed outdoor roller coaster coming to the park. Now we're going to share all the possibilities, all the information, and share my thoughts on this story. So, before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. We are three quarters of a way of a million. Well, three quarters of a, uh, well, we've, we've done three quarters towards a million. We are a quarter away from a million views. And we are also only just under 500 subscribers away from the big 3,000. So if you've got any questions for the Q&A to hit 3K, make sure you use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the story around Shanghai Disneyland and this brand new outdoor high-speed roller coaster with permits to back it up. So the permit image that you are seeing on screen right now, it is written in Chinese, so you will not be able to uh, understand unless you are a Chinese viewer, in which case, hello to all the viewers in China. Uh, but if you're not a Chinese viewer, let me just sum up the whole situation. So basically, according to Blog Mickey, Shanghai Disneyland is reportedly accepting bids for a high-speed outdoor roller coaster. Now the tweet that fueled this rumor came from at Masani Mia PA. Uh, with Shanghai Disneyland finding a manufacturer for their new coaster, a double launch coaster with a switch. A switch track, specifically. Although, little else has been said besides that. The precise nature of the ride is unknown, although with this being Disney, there's a guess that it won't be intense or majorly thrilling. Uh, now, on some original site plans, there was a stage two placeholder of a coaster, which was basically Expedition Everest. Same layout in the plan. Uh, but that was on the site where Zootopia is now. So maybe something along the scales of Expedition Everest, but with launch instead of lift hills, or a bris big Grizzly Railway mine train with two launchers, could be the case for this coaster. Now I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this and what I think could be coming and also what I think could be the theme for the ride. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is speaking about the plans and the permits for Shanghai Disneyland's brand new high speed outdoor roller coaster. Looking for a manufacturer, it looks like it could be potentially Zootopia themed uh, from the sounds of what we're hearing. So maybe a Zootopia theme for this coaster. Now the thing that would combat the potential of a Zootopia theme for the coaster is the fact that um, in the original, in, in, the, in the plans for Zootopia land, there was plans for a trackless dart ride, which would be the main e-ticket attraction for this uh, particular coaster. I guess you'd call it an e-ticket attraction. Uh, so... That was the big plan. Now, whether this is as well as or instead of in some new updated plans for Zootopia Land, uh, the brand new area for Shanghai Disneyland under construction, it should be quite interesting to see if that is the case. However, obviously, we don't know uh, confirmed officially where this is going to be located. We don't know who's manufacturing this. That's why they're accepting bids uh, from manufacturers. Known with the manufacturers that Disney has worked with, I mean, look, Disney's worked with Vacoma in the past, the, the classic Vacomas, so I don't think any of the next-gen Vacomas are in the question here. I think we're looking here at Intamin. Now, this, this is just a complete... This isn't confirmed, by the way. This is just my personal guess. I think Intamin could be the manufacturer of the coaster. And the reason why I say that is because I think Intamin's got the technology to pull this off. And I'm not saying the others don't, but I think Intamin's got the right technology and the right time to pull this investment off. So I think this is going to be potentially Zootopia themed, but I think it will absolutely be manufactured by Intamin. Like I said, I could be wrong, I could be completely off the mark, but I think Intamin will be the overall manufacturer of the coaster. So, there we go guys, thank you very, very much for watching this update from Shanghai Disneyland. I'm so sorry that video uploads have been super, well, well not super slow, but like there's, like there's been a day or two break in between some of the uploads. I'm starting my new job tomorrow, so literally I can't, like... If I have to have some kind of big recording day at some point this week to get a ton of videos filmed, edited, 
and literally get ready to upload on days where I really can't be, I can't upload because I'm either stressed out from work or whatever reason. So, obviously, I'm going to have to have a big recording day each week, one day each week where I'm not at work uh, to get videos done and get loads of videos pumped out there. Obviously, apart from the surprise announcement, which I'll probably cover on a day when I'm not busy. Uh, but there's so much going on in my life right now with work starting and, you know, other stuff to do and other commitments to have as well. It is a struggle now, you know, it's not going to be the usual daily uploads unless it is pre-records that are going to be uploaded on the days when I'm at work, but um, it's very likely it won't be daily uploads, it could be one every two days or three days depending on what happens, but uh, I hope you guys understand, you know, you, you guys are still supporting the channel which is unbelievable, thank you very much, and like I said we're still under 500 subs away from 3,000 subscribers which is brilliant for a theme park news channel, we do vlogs as well, but for a theme park news channel it's unbelievable. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, my name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, have a Shanghai-tastic day. Shout out to the Chinese viewers. Bless you. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.